Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Hour. We're here at the Sinking Ship in Indianapolis, Indiana, about to review Batman The Dark Knight by Stern Pinball. Great looking game. Please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as YouTube. If you like arcade, pinball, virtual pinball, click subscribe now. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First impressions of the table, it looks really good. Clip art in the play field looks good. Clipper gap's not too bad. Side art's good. Trans light looks good too. Lots of shots in this game, of course. It's more consolidated to the center, which is gonna make it a little bit moderate to low, high difficulty, just because you gotta get through the lanes. Got a little kick out to the back out there out of that lane. Drops down to the columns. <clears throat> now, I will take my revenge on the Batman. Are you afraid? You're becoming an annoyance. Theme so far is working for me. It's Batman, for God's sake. Looks good. Sound bites are good. Music so far is very complimentary to what they're trying to pull off on this table. There's nothing to fear but me. Artwork's where it should be. Theme's where it should be. Of course, in our videos, our reviews are put underneath the description of the video, so please look there for all the metrics. It's just a wet. Try not to find that too fast. Pretty interesting. So let's just drive into uh, table mechanics real quick. So there's a lot going on on this table. Flipper gap's not too bad. Uh, with that said, uh, in lane to left right, out lane to left right, with a lot of targets going up the left side that spelled Batman. Lane going with a spinner all the way to the back side of the table, which is going to drop into the columns. There is a kick out to the back there. Hot bumpers to the center of that. Now moving up the middle of the left table, there's a target. Drop target, which is Joker's face. There's a canister back there that spins around when you hit that and engage it. Ramp to the middle, which will shoot up to the left. Uh, and come back around the back of the table and then come down this little kind of bridge system to your left, have a trail left end lane. To the right of that, you have a little lane going over to the pop bumpers, which is to your columns. Uh, you have a ball, a wrecking ball that kind of moves around throughout gameplay. Scoop to the middle, which will actually shoot up into the have a trail wire form coming to your right end lane. And uh, you also have a lane going around to your columns, uh, columns and rollovers to the back as well. So pretty good, pretty good setup on this machine. That middle ramp system will divert as well from the looks of it. I'll see what I can and uh, it just went into a little peg area, which is an upper play field. Hitting the drop target with the joker allows you to get the ball back into a ball lock area, which then kicks out on the rollover back to your columns to the back of the table. So we just hit that again. Go ahead and get some multi-ball action going. it's not my Music is good on this. Soundtrack is, is good. Replayability is definitely on this machine. You know, this is a good route machine. This is also a machine that you could have at your house. There's just a lot going on. So for home use only, I would say this machine definitely ranks up there. It's something that will keep your attention. No seatbelts at all. There's the Joker again. So that's going to spin around. So we've engaged that three times. So Joker Multiball has just been engaged. This is a fun little stern table right here. I played it in virtual and in uh, virtual format it's very fun as well. But uh, I gotta say, uh, playing it physically, I mean it's definitely a better game than on virtual. Virtual does a good job with it, but it's still not physical. Try to 
hit a bunch of jackpots here, level up some scores. Jackpot. Which is hitting that joker face. Alfred. I needed that. Jackpot. Jackpot. Cool game. Replayability is absolutely there. Fun factor, gameplay, all, all very good. Flipper response is really good, so the cools are firing good. So this is a route game that is actually taken care of at the sinking ship, so they obviously take care of their games here, which is great. So if you're trying to go play some good games, then obviously you need you should stop by up here in Indianapolis. Yeah, they just jumped into the wind. Wow, hello, Again, moderate to low high difficulty on this table. And the reason, the only reason I say that is because the ramps, as you just saw, are a little higher. You need a lot of ball speed to get up. I mean, this table gives you quite a bit of ball speed. So it allows you to get up the ramps, but it's still hard. And also the lanes being tighter to the center uh, means you're gonna have to be a little bit better on your, on your shots. Beautiful table though. As you're hitting the targets on the left that say Batman, you're hearing the little kapow and all that stuff, the little kind of sounds of someone being hit. I will say so far, it hasn't really been a high ball out. So that's a good thing. That means you can get really high scores on this. Again, description will be underneath the video. So if you click on desktop, it'll say show more. Click there. We'll have it all written out on mobile. There, hit, click the headline, and that'll have a little drop down there on mobile, so that way you can read our metrics and just kind of go from there. I'm really liking the coloration of the uh, inserts and the LEDs on this. Very flashy. Playfield's really clean on this table, too, for us here, for being routed. So I've got Alfred, so the modes are in the middle. You got Alfred, Bruce, Commission Gordon, Rachel Dawes, Scarecrow, the Joker, Harvey Dent, Lucius Fox. And so far we've gotten three of the modes filled. So we're going to basically try to get the other five filled on this. Trying to hit that end flashing up there in that gym. really good. I mean, it, it really does look good in person. There we go. and hold this up so we keep this under 10 minutes as far as the review. Uh, game looks great. Look for our review under the description. All things there, replayability, fun factor, gameplay, all there, moderate difficulty to low, high difficulty. So this is a great table. Check it out if you have the opportunity. Check it out and write or even buy it for your house. I think this is a great house to keep at your uh, for home use only. Anyway, thank you again for your time today. Arcade and Pinball Talk, signing off.